like all those stories of the uh, sewer crocodiles. <laughs> Citizens and visitors to our city, by order of the Regent, the curfew is now active. No foot traffic is allowed across Caldwin's Bridge until curfew is lifted. Attention all citizens, no pedestrian movement is allowed along Caldwin's Bridge during this period. Curfew will end tomorrow morning at sunrise. Oh, can you... I'm, I'm assuming that you can't shoot people through stuff like this. Right. Through barriers? Yeah. Well, no. just through that, like, signpost. Oh, uh, no. I can't remember the game, uh, but there was one that strove to treat objects fairly realistically. So there was, so like, pen there was, like pe penetration with projectiles? Yeah. You could shoot people through, like, metal signs or, like, car or cardboard boxes or stuff. Okay. That's, that's cool. That's actually kind of a pet peeve of mine in a lot of games, is... People using is there a, a lot of cover like games that are very cover based. You use a you, you take cover behind a lot of things that really should not be cover. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just any old cardboard box will do. It's like. You know, it's like. You know, the reason shotguns are often right, recommended for home defense is that other weapons have a tendency to go through walls, you know? Yeah. Whereas in, you know, game, where in most games, like, you know, just get a bit of drywall between you and in, between you and, you know, uh, M16 and you're fine. Just what a minor pet peeve of mine. <laughs> what a different landscape uh, war would be if that were true. Yes. Guys just running around wearing cardboard boxes. Well, that's what I was thinking about just now, actually. Like, that would... <laughs> we have to put some serious thought into, uh, design. Wow. Yeah. I think I took his head clean off there. Yeah. He should have been wearing some cardboard. Citizens it. and visitors to our city, by order of the region, the curfew yeah, is, now is gone. Active. No foot traffic is allowed across Caldwin's Bridge until curfew is lifted. So many horrible puns I could make Attention right now. All citizens. No pedestrian movement is allowed along Caldwin's Bridge during this period. Curfew will end tomorrow morning at sunrise. The smoke owns in the pylons, blood beneath the stone blocks, men die building a structure. Many seek the bridge for solace. I would really love if she could come in on guards and most wanted. What about guards? The crushed minerals, the yeah, minerals, if she, could, if the heart could the comment on guards post mortem. Oh yeah, that'd be interesting. His son waits for him to come home. He never will. He that would be good. <laughs> What do you see in stars? He was the sole source of support for his elderly mother. <laughs> they are burning whales. It was his birthday today. So oh, I picked him a cake. Oh. Beneath the stone blocks, men and I building a structure. Yeah, if you're careful, you can balance on these speaker things hanging out over the streets. Is this a for sale? Is it? Hmm. Yeah. That's pretty weird. Hold on a sec. Don't let me get too far into digressions on portrayals of firearms in games, or I'll I'll give you my 15-minute rant on how cl on how clips are not magazines, <laughs> and then 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 
or about how John Romero ruined public knowledge of what a chain gun is for generations to come. All handguns are M1911s, John. Okay. The curfew is now active. I'll... No foot traffic is allowed across Baldwin Bridge until... And they all sound like Desert Eagles. Attention all citizens. Uh... Turn up the Dark Vision. Alright. This... I, I threw it pretty quickly, but this gave me some trouble the first on my first playthrough of this game. Just because it took me a while to figure out what I, exactly what I was supposed to do. Yeah, so see, you've got, like, this little rail car. And you've got that closed gate. Oops. Oh, oh, yeah, the, the boot stealth is a really great one. It reduces, it makes your steps quieter, basically. Oh, nice. Really, han really handy. Like, a, you can, like, sneak up on guys more quickly without producing sound. which will come in handy. And then eventually there's a, a boot stealth too, which I believe actually lets you sprint silently. I remember pretty badly hurting myself on my first playthrough here, just dick dicking around in here, like, trying to leap to different places from that chain, and... <laughs> yeah, now this... You just think it pulls the chain over there. For... reasons that I assume were apparent to me when I was playing this a few months ago. One, one annoying thing is normally it shows you that arrow if you can climb onto something with your blink. It doesn't tell you with the chain if you've actually will reach it or not. You just have to eyeball it. Yeah. It's not a huge issue generally speaking, but I got this whale oil. Luckily it doesn't explode on impact from that fall. You're levitating it. My, my, my ghostly allies are assisting me. All right, there we go. Open that up. I'll throw the switch and climb aboard. And we're off. Excellent. Moving at upwards of three miles an hour through the streets of Dunwall. Powered by whale misery. Modern transportation technology for a new dynamic city. Well, that was... We certainly couldn't have traversed that distance ourselves. <laughs> Dunwall. A nice place to live. Dunwall. City of lazy bastards. And there's... As before, there's, there's a lot of, like, little places to explore. Just blink, just zip over their heads. Silently. I could let them live, but what would be the profit in that? Then I wouldn't be killing. But first things first. Ooh. I really want to know what I really don't I don't know sure if I want to know or don't want to know what the vials of liquid mysteries are. And if they tie into Piero's research somehow. Oh, that was an attempted drop kill that didn't quite pan out. But And then I just vanish into here. <laughs> Blink is also really good because because it lets you move so quickly. If a guy is isolate is like in a position where he's briefly isolated, you can zip in and nail him before other guys can react. Whoop, except now up the chain. Whoop. 
And Ed for Piero's remedy. Ooh. Excellent. There's a run of five runes. How did anybody live in that room? Well, it looks like that, that it, it was sealed up re pretty recently. Probably there was like plague victims living in there at some point and they barred it off. And now I have two levels of zoom, which is handy. Oh! Not quite the headshot I was going for. Well, good enough. Now I really probably should have done with that the cro with that with the crossbow because it's not as loud. Eh. But I, mean, I think it was just because I have like such an excess of bullets at the moment. I couldn't even pick up more. I had so many. So just burn off the excess stock. You notice, you know, you have the little crosshairs there? It looks like the, uh, the sign of the outsider on your wrist. Wait, wait, oh, yeah, yeah, look at his hand. See it? Yeah. Interesting. I think that's what it is. It's, it's the most metal crossbow in gaming. I mean, might be crosshairs in gaming. Good lord. Oh! That was not quite as planned. No along Moving with my usual grace. Now I'm stuck down here with the flesh-devouring fish. Oops, there we go. In this mission, there's quite, you can have quite a bit of fun messing with the controls of machinery. This is the first mission in which we'll see the, uh... What are they called? The, uh... Well, these big electric coil defenses... The, that tes just, like the Tesla things? They, that's what they look like, yeah. They're not actually called that, but they're basically these big... Right. ...weaponized Tesla coils... ...that just burn people to ash. Uh I don't remember. Did They're called something else. In this. Yeah, that's that's what I that's what I first thought of when I saw them actually. Command and conquer red alert. Very first thing to come to mind. I have so many fond memories of accidentally sending Albert Einstein too close to a Tesla coil. <laughs> it's the best death noise. Oh no! <laughs> oh, sounds like a weeper. Yeah, he is not well. He's slightly west, less well now. Good. The outsider walks among us. Bone charm. One of three. Fleet fighter. <laughs> Fleet fighter turbo edition. HD remix. Fleet Fighter Ultra fifth character. Oh god. Oh yeah, isn't there isn't there a new Street Fighter 4 version coming out? Yes, Street Fighter Ultra. They just announced a fifth character. Who is it? There's four new characters that I can't remember right now, but I know the fifth character that everybody got super excited for turned out to be uh, evil Cammy. So it's like a palette swap then? Yes. At least it's not yet another version of Akuma. Yeah. Are it's any of these of these five these five characters are any of them Hagar? No. Then I don't give a fuck. Give me Hagar or give me Well give me Hagar, basically. <laughs> Let me see. But meanwhile in Dishonored We don't need any dark Corvo is already the evil version of himself, so...
Do you really think he's evil? Well, this one is. In, th in this version is, yeah. No, my, the Corvo I played through in my first playthrough, he was a good guy. 